Welcome to Junior Day at OSU. We're going to get started with Dr. Amy Martindale. She is the Assistant Dean of Academic Services at CAS, and she's going to tell us everything that you need to know about the college. So good morning and welcome. I'm, I'm Dr. Martindale, glad to uh, be with you. We'd so much rather be welcoming you all to campus in Stillwater today, but uh, appreciate you joining us virtually so we can try to give you a sense of uh, what, what an OSU experience might be like. Uh, we do encourage you to follow us on social media if you aren't already. There's all of our uh, social media info. It's a great way to see um, what we're up to, what our students are doing, and when we've also created a website, uh, the CAS Junior Day website with the link there and the link coming through in the chat also, uh, where we've taken all of the information that we're sharing with you to, at Junior Day today uh, and put into one place to make that easily accessible for you. In the College of Arts and Sciences, we, we are the largest college. So we are big and broad and we offer uh, a lot of different majors in 22 different departments. Um, and we're really proud of our breadth and our diversity. We have a lot of students seeking uh, pre-professionals. So their uh, goals are to go to med school, law school, vet school, dental school, any of those kind of professional school programs that you would do after your bachelor's degree. We offer most of the prerequisite courses for those in the College of Arts and Sciences. And we've also made some degree uh, options very specifically to include those uh, prerequisite courses that it's nice and easy for you to follow that path if you know you want to be um, headed towards med school, dental school, law school, any of those. So we've, got, we've built those career paths into our degree plan specifically for you. Uh, beyond the classroom, we do have plenty of scholarships available. They are in uh, the university level, the college level, and the department level, but the application for all of them is through your admission application. Uh, so we, we try to make it easy so you just have that one piece of uh, work to do. So the uh, admission application serves all of those. We do encourage that when you apply for admission that you answer the essay questions because uh, very often the college and the department and the university will use the, your responses to those essays in choosing uh, the recipients for the specific scholarship. So write those essays and do a great job. We also offer a lot of study abroad opportunities and scholarships specifically to support study abroad. Uh, parents, you may remember that study abroad used to mean that you were going to have a great life-changing experience abroad for a semester or a year, um, but that those courses you took really weren't going to apply to your degree and you were just going to be delaying your graduation. And that's not really the case anymore. So we have a pretty elaborate process of looking at the courses that students are planning to take while they're abroad and uh, determining how those will apply to a degree and helping students plan ahead. Uh, so if you work with your advisor and plan ahead, it is quite possible to spend uh, a semester or a year studying abroad and still graduate on time with the, with the right preparation in advance. Um, we also offer a lot of undergraduate research experiences. So every university that you're talking to right now should be telling you about their undergraduate research experiences. Uh, we have a lot of scholarships available on campus to support students who are doing research. And maybe unique to OSU is our freshman research scholars program. So I teach that class for arts and sciences. Um, and that's one where we're going to pair you up with a faculty member right in your freshman year that and you can do uh, a, an innovative project discovering new things, um, inventing something new, working with a faculty member right in your freshman year. That is also, um, that application is also part of your admission application portal. So when you're filing your admission application, you can choose to answer the essay questions about the freshman research program um, and be considered for that. It's phenomenal opportunities for students who, who are interested in, in research. We also offer a lot of uh, tutoring and academic services. Uh, so we have so many resources on campus to help students be successful in their courses. Um, I'll be honest, college courses are hard. They're supposed to be. Uh, but we have a lot of services available to help students succeed when you find something that's more challenging than you've maybe experienced before. We also know that your generation, Gen Z, is really focused on careers. You want to be out and, uh, and change the world, and that is spectacular. And it is such a joy and an honor to get to work with students um, as you are figuring out how you want to change the world and then helping you learn the skills and strategies that you need to do that effectively. Uh, that's, that's just a real exciting part of, of working at OSU. Uh, we do have career services available. So we have career consultants specific for our majors in the College of Arts and Sciences. 
And they work with students right from the very beginning, thinking about what kinds of uh, volunteer and leadership experiences can you be getting outside the classroom that are really going to make you competitive towards the, the career path that you have in mind. Uh, we also have created a number of minors uh, to go along with our degrees that are really career prep focused. So um, focusing on the skill areas that every career is going to need and value. So minors like communication studies, ethics, professional writing, applied computer programming, applied statistics. These are skills that are going to be valuable in any industry uh, on the planet and would be really uh, valuable to add on to your, your degree. So thinking about your senior year, we have some recommendations for you. We do encourage you to take both the ACT and the SAT uh, and have those scores sent to OSU. For most students, you're gonna do about the same, uh, perform about as well on, the, on both of those exams. But for some students, uh, they do a lot better on one versus the other. And you don't know if that's you until you've taken both. So we do encourage everybody to take both uh, in the case that one of those is, is substantially better for you. We do encourage you to take math during your senior year of high school, even if you uh, have met all the requirements for high school and don't have to. Uh, what we find is that students who have a long gap in, in taking math in high school before they take math in college makes it a lot harder. You forget a lot of your math skills. Uh, so we do encourage you to take math in your senior year of high school and then take math in your freshman year at OSU, again, trying to reduce that gap uh, and knowledge loss. For math and science majors, we really encourage that you take uh, biology, chemistry, and physics, any of those that you can take in high school, and know that your math preparation is going to lead directly to your science placement. So you, you need that math background in order to get into and succeed in your science courses at OSU. For a science major specifically, we really need you to focus on that math and science skill set while you're in high school. And then our fine arts majors really encourage you to use your time in high school to prepare for your audition or portfolio to be that competitive applicant for, um, for those programs and scholarships when that time comes. We absolutely at OSU accept uh, AP and IB and concurrent credit. Um, we have a website that we're going to share in the chat on uh, our uh, credit by exam and exactly which exams and scores and uh, courses those all equate to. For AP and IB, please remember that you have to take the exam. We don't award the OSU credit just based on your grade in the course. We do need the, the score on that standardized exam. For concurrent courses, uh, we absolutely accept that credit from any uh, accredited college or university. Uh, so we, we definitely will take your concurrent credit. And speaking of concurrent credit, we have a new program we're offering is our Cowboy Concurrent Online. Uh, so we are offering concurrent courses for high school uh, juniors and seniors, both in-state and out-of-state. We are sharing that website in the chat as well. Uh, for all of the information on that. It's a great opportunity to take a, an online course with an OSU faculty member and really get to know uh, what OSU is like, and but also to interact with students from around the state and the country who are also taking the, the concurrent online course with you. For the, whoops, for the math uh, and science related majors, as I mentioned, that math being your, your essential preparation to lead into your science coursework, uh, so I do really want to encourage uh, science majors to consider taking that uh, college algebra concurrent online with OSU to be um, getting that math uh, skill set started and really being ready for your introductory science courses. And what we find with uh, math specifically is that students who take their, say, college algebra with community college, and there's a reason community college is, is seen more often as easy, uh, and that's not necessarily always the best preparation. So for science majors, we really do encourage that college algebra um, concurrent online with OSU to give you the best preparation to lead into your science coursework when you arrive as a freshman. All right, now we're gonna split into our smaller groups. As I mentioned, arts and sciences is really big and really broad and there's, there's so much that um, needs to be more specific and focused. So we're gonna split into uh, smaller groups here within the, the presentation. 
Uh, so the arts and humanities majors are going to visit with Natalie Ambrose. She's a communications specialist with a background in theater. Um, our social science majors are going to visit with Lana Freshly. She's our coordinator of Perspective Student Services and is a uh, background in journalism and media. And Brittany Mann is going to lead our math and sciences section. She's our senior academic advisor in math. And the life sciences, pre-med, pre-health interested students are going to visit with Carla Gutierrez. She's a communications specialist with a background in math. Um, and so in the chat are the links about how to get to your breakout sessions. Um, and we're going to show you again which majors go with each of those groups so you know, know which group to join. Again, welcome to the College of Arts and Sciences and go folks. My name is Natalie Ambrose. I am the communications specialist who specializes in the arts and humanities within the College of Arts and Sciences. We also call that CAS. Today we are going to be talking about a good long list of majors that might interest you. So I'll go ahead and read them off the list right now. You see them right in front of you on the screen and we'll move forward as we kind of talk about things and I offer information to you. If you have more specific questions, just drop them in the chat. We are going to talk about art, art history, art graphic design, art studio art, art arts administration. We're going to talk about English, French, German, history, music, music industry, music education, music performance, philosophy, Spanish, and theater. So that will be our topic of discussion for today. All right, as we move forward, I wanna let you know how to connect with us on social media. All you have to do is search the handle OKStateCast OK and you will find us as alive and well as we've ever been on social media. And if you follow us, you'll get an idea of who we are. You can also follow the hashtag CastCowboys and that's a great way to get to know us and see kind of how active we are out in the world. I also wanna let you know, and I'll be reminding you of this later, but this is a really great slide to take a, a shot of because that link on the bottom, cast.okstate.edu forward slash junior dash day. That will be available for you to find out any and all information after the presentation. Our team of people who are working very hard behind the scenes today are Scott Sawyer. He is a program coordinator for the College of Arts and Sciences Outreach. He is dropping information out to you as it comes along. We also have two wonderful advisors. Anthony Valentine is an academic and freshman advisor. He will be a chat facilitator today answering your questions. And then we also have Megan Pitt, who is an academic advisor for music and theater, and she will also be facilitating questions this morning. So when you drop those out, those are the people that are answering you. All right, let's jump right into it. If you would like to study art at Oklahoma State University, then you have a few options. First, I'd like to tell you about our BA program within art. We have art history and studio art as a BA, that's a Bachelor of Arts. And then we also have BFA options within art, and that's graphic design. And we also have a BFA option for studio art. Now, as a freshman coming in for the BFA programs, you apply to get into those programs. So for you as a junior, as you're heading into your senior year, it's really good to pull together a good portfolio of work so that when you're ready to apply, you have something in hand to show of your work. So if you're interested in art, anything from drawing and painting to video and three-dimensional graphic design, all the way up through art history and typography, then this is a great place for you. We also have a brand new degree called Arts Administration. This is a Bachelor of Arts degree and for any student who is interested in advocating for the arts um, industry and for the arts community on the business side of that world, then this is a great degree for you. So if you've ever wondered, well, how do arts, like arts companies get funded? Well, then this is a great way for you to understand how to write grants and how to organize events and how to get artists connected to their investors. So the arts administration degree is a wonderful one because it's a bridge degree between the arts community and the business world. We also have a very alive and active English community on the campus of Oklahoma State University. And so we have a few different options if you would like to study English. We have a generalist degree called English BA, that's a Bachelor of Arts, and we also have some specializations that you can do within English. You can study creative writing, professional writing, or screen studies, those are all BA. Screen studies would be more like film, film theory. And um, we also have 
the option to do English as a pre-law degree, and we call that our three plus three program. So if you have any questions about that, feel free to drop those out in the chat, or you can even at the end schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment, and we can give you some more information if you're interested in going into law school. So anything from the written word in fiction, nonfiction, or on the screen, the English major is a great one for you to study. Our languages and literatures program at Oklahoma State University offers a wonderful array of both majors and minors within languages and literatures. And understand that when you study a language outside of your own, your own kind of natural language that you have learned, you're not just studying the language, but you're also in studying the culture and the people. And so at Oklahoma State University, as a major, you can choose either French, German, or Spanish. And all three of those are a BA, a Bachelor of Arts degree. Now note where it has the stars. All three of those have a pre-law option as well, which is really exciting. We also offer a great array of minors within languages and literatures. Now, a minor is such a popular option within this degree area because every BA student has to have a language requirement in their degree anyway. And so oftentimes students will take that language requirement, it's like nine to 12 hours, and they'll go ahead and just transfer it into a minor. And so that means that you have a specialization under your belt that gives you a bit of diversity. And so when you get out into the world, they look at, well, maybe you were an English major, but you were, um, a uh, French or Spanish minor, and that makes sure that as a bilingual person, you have a lot more opportunities for jobs. So our list of minors within languages and literatures includes French, German, ASL, that stands for American Sign Language, Chinese, Greek, Spanish, Russian, Latin, and Japanese. So if you are interested in studying language in any capacity, whether at a, as a major or a minor, this is a great degree area for you. Our history department at OSU offers a few different specialties and many of them gives you a very specific and focused route on how you want to use your history degree. So we'll start with the history BA degree. That's a generalist degree. We'll study history across time, how cultures and people groups have interacted with history and how that has changed us and shaped us over time. And so your BA option is going to give you a broad range of understanding of that. We also have the History Business Essentials degree, and that is a BA, but that's going to be all of those prerequisites that you'll need for studying business and the business side of that. And then we finally have History with a Pre-Law option, and I'll just drop it out for you one more time. That has to do with our three plus three program. And so that means that you do three years of undergraduate, then you apply to law school, and then based off of getting into law school, you can actually get a professional degree within six years instead of seven, which is great because it saves you a lot of time and money. So that's our history department. Just know that we focus on public history. We're going to offer you a broad range of options. All right. Now, our music degree. Check out the list of possibilities that you can do with a music degree at Oklahoma State University. I'll read them off to you and we'll talk a little bit about them but I wanna make sure that you understand how up and coming this school is within the campus of Oklahoma State University. So for our music degree options, we offer a music BA, music vocal performance, that's a BM, which stands for Bachelor of Music. We have music keyboard performance. We have music instrumental performance. All of those are a BM. We also have music education. And finally, we have a music industry degree, and that is a Bachelor of Science. And also that picture that you see there, that is from our brand new facility in the McKnight Center for the Performing Arts. It is gorgeous. I wanna show you a little more. So if you would like to study music at Oklahoma State University, you'll do that through the Michael and Ann Greenwood School of Music. And we have two gorgeous facilities. The McKnight Center opened up last fall, and then the Michael and Ann Greenwood School of Music facility will be opening up this coming fall. So I know we had a lot of students that said they were interested in studying music at OSU, and so take a look at these gorgeous facilities that you'll get to utilize, both in your educational instruction, but also in some internship opportunities, and maybe someday as a professional. So that's really exciting if you're interested in music at all. Again, if you have questions, make sure that you're dropping them out in the chat and our facilitators are doing a great job. They'll drop out information to you immediately as soon as they can access it. 
All right, moving right along. Our philosophy degree at Oklahoma State University is a great one because philosophy checks and tests out the great questions across time. So if you're talking about anything from Socrates all the way up to some public conversations right now, even studying the ideas of Jordan Peterson, then the philosophy area is something that you might be interested in. We offer a few different options within philosophy. We offer a BA degree, but look at this. We also have philosophy free law, which is a BA degree. It falls in our three plus three programs. You can get into law school with a philosophy background. And then we also offer a very unique specialty called philosophy pre ministry. And this will get students prepared to go into seminary if they're interested in ministry work someday. So the philosophy department is a great one to check out. And if that's your degree of study that you'd like to know more about, then just ask a question and we can set something up for you. All right. Our theater program is one of the fastest growing within the arts and humanities. They have a brand new crop of students and a brand new crop of faculty, and we are so excited about what they have to offer. And I do have to tell you that I actually have two degrees in theater, and so I love advocating for this degree. So our theater degree is considered a BA degree. That's a generalist degree. And so students are going to get an opportunity to focus on both the tech side of theater as well as the performance side of theater. Now within that, they will choose the area of specialty that they would like to focus more on, but they're going to get a broad array of experience. Then OSU is a tier one research university, but we also, you need to know that we offer research opportunity to students from their freshman year forward. So within theater, it looks like you can audition as a freshman and get a chance at a main stage show even as a freshman. How cool is that? So take a look at that. We offer a really great fun season. Students, you need to know that college is a brand new experience and you're getting coffee in a new place and you're finding um, brand new people. And so we want to make sure that you get involved. CAS offers 80 more than 80 student organizations, and they do a ton of events. You can get connected with people, which could even be networking later, but we wanna make sure that you get connected somewhere because it matters for you to have a sense of belonging on this campus so you feel like you're really a part of the Cowboy family. If you don't find something you like, you can always start your own. We want you to know that you do not have to be a major or a minor in music or theater to participate in the arts. And this is very common for students who want to do something like cowboy marching band or participate in an instrumental ensemble or participate in a show in the theater. And so you can participate in the arts by visiting either music.okstate.edu or by visiting theater.okstate.edu and find out all the opportunities available to you. I know Dr. Martindale mentioned it to you in the CAS introduction session, but I want to offer you just a quick reminder, especially as a junior going into your senior year, then you need to be thinking toward concurrent classes. And the great thing is this is geared toward Oklahoma seniors, and so we want you to know that these opportunities will transfer directly into classes at Oklahoma State University. So look at the list of classes there. If that interests you, then take a look and really make sure that you get connected. All right, next steps, if you'd like to get to be a part of the Cowboy family, then all you have to do is visit campus, which you can actually do virtually right now, and then you can also make an academic appointment. That means that you'll meet with somebody like me, and we'll have a quick 30-minute session, and we can talk all about your options, and then you want to make sure that you apply to Oklahoma State University. Now, here's the key. Pay attention. You want to declare a major within the College of Arts and Sciences, and then this whole world that you've been learning about over the last two sessions, that will open up to you. So make sure that you declare a major within CAS, and by declaring a major, then scholarship money becomes available to you. All right, we are finishing up our time. I know this has been fast and furious, but we want you to know that we would love to connect with you personally and set up a one-on-one -on -one appointment. So that link at the bottom, orange.okstate.edu, look at that forward slash portal forward slash cast. That's a really important one to take a screenshot of or grab it from the chat. Make sure that you connect with us because we have a whole team of people that is ready to talk to you and help you to find out more options at Oklahoma State University. All right, we are finishing up our time. Your next session will start in about one minute. So that is the financial aid session. So we'll go ahead and log out from here. You'll go to your email and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you grab the link to go into your financial aid session.
All right. I really appreciate the time that you've spent with us today. I hope that you learned a lot and that you're interested in talking more. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great day. Bye.